Good morning, friends. We are up bright and early to go down and do a bunch of harvesting of onions, potatoes, carrots, and it has not rained in my area in probably six to seven weeks. What did I wake up to? It is misting. It's not raining per se, but my car is wet. Can you see that? This is not ideal conditions to be harvesting onions or potatoes. You can see on my husband's car how much moisture is on it. The problem is today is the day to harvest potatoes. I have help coming. My parents are already on their way. And all I can say is I hope that it is not misting like this in the garden because there is quite a bit of a drive between both houses. And I just can't believe that it's raining today. What in the world? What in the world? So let's go ahead and drive down there and you and I are gonna figure out together whether this is probably the worst day in all of the days I could choose to harvest potatoes. We have tons of boxes, tons of baskets. Hopefully I'm gonna be filling most of those baskets and boxes. My dad has a truck, so I have a bunch of the boxes stacked in like on in each other because they wouldn't fit laying flat or individual in my car. And so if they if we hopefully get that many potatoes, then my dad can we can put them in my dad's truck and bring them up here. All right, let's go figure this out if this was the worst day of the year to harvest potatoes. That was a roller coaster of emotions <laughs> getting here. I text my parents and ask them, is it raining at your house? Because they're on their way here. And they said no. And then as I was driving, there was no rain. And now it's sprinkling. So this is what it is. This is the day we're doing it. So we just have to make the best of it. I think it's gonna be okay. Basically what this means, the reason you don't wanna harvest your potatoes or onions, basically root crops when it's wet outside, is because that can increase the likelihood that they could mold on you. And so the curing process or drying process to prepare these root crops for storage is gonna be extremely important. And so I probably am gonna to have to put a fan on them so that they can dry or cure properly. I, I don't think it's, when I look at the weather forecast, it doesn't say that there's supposed to be any rain. So I think it's just like, and it's not, it's not raining, it's misting. I think it's just, there are, let's see, I can show you. Those are pretty gray clouds. And we haven't seen clouds in the sky in a long time. We do, I do live in Washington state, Southwest Washington, so the Pacific Northwest, which is known for rain. But typically in the summer, like I said, it's been a good solid six weeks since we've seen anything like this, but that's okay. We're gonna have fun anyway. Let me show you what, what we're tackling. Now, one thing I'm not very worried about is the onions because the onions I'm going to preserve. I'm not gonna try to keep them in my pantry for long-term storage because some of them have already gone to flower and that already means that they're not gonna store well. But these potatoes are what I'm really excited about tackling today. This row right here, all the way over here, are all potatoes with weeds growing around them. We are gonna harvest potatoes from our root bags over here. So we have four of these root bags. This is an experiment. I've never done this before. And then we have some in-ground potatoes we're gonna harvest here, this whole bed. I mean, it's pretty moist out here. <laughs> I did not wear my boots again today. Yesterday we were here harvesting a bunch of stuff and I said I was gonna wear my boots and I thought, you know what, I think I'm just gonna wear tennis shoes, which was probably a really bad, bad choice. It's okay. So we're gonna get lunch after this. We got here really early this morning and so I'll probably just have to go <laughs> change before I was gonna take my parents out to lunch. There's a new lunch place or a food place that just opened up in our little town. And so we wanted to try that out. She is a beautiful mess, this garden. <laughs> oh, Wow, it's so nice to be here so bright and early. Now, and for the second day in a row, since this garden season has happened, it's been long stretches between me being in the garden at least a week, usually five days a week. 
And this is the second day in a row we're in the garden together. My dad and mom are here. My dad, do you want to start on this area of potatoes I'll right here? End, is that all right? Yep, that's perfect. And then my mom's here. Good morning. And we are going to start over here in this bed. My mom is going to start working on getting up all of these onions here. And I'm going to work on getting the potatoes. So we just have some different containers. She actually pulled up already a couple carrots. So that's exciting. That's promising. Yeah, they look size. really good. Yeah. The ground is dry. It's not been raining that much. My sun hat is now a rain hat. <laughs> and then my dad said he pulled up the first potato and it was dry. So that's super encouraging. So you want to be careful, Dad, not to puncture yeah, the potatoes. And these are called, I planted these in a method called roost stout. Look at all those. Which means they're not dug in dirt. See, we got a little bit of a puncture. So you should be able to, yep, just very easily. Oh yeah, it's completely dry. I'll just work with my hands. Yeah, I think that this, it should be. Oh! Look at treasure! <laughs> I love doing potatoes because it's like digging for treasure. Look at that! Yeah, not, even right under the surface, they're not wet. They're dry? Awesome. I mean, yeah, they're not wet. Yeah, sit it right. Look at that. So this method, the reason I did this is because you don't have to dig very hard to find them. They, they're just planted right soil surface. Look at the size of that one. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah there's I a gotta, lot of them. I've got to spend time on each spot. Oh, see? Oh yeah. So some, I mean, there's a little bit of compaction there. Oh. oh, see? So I planted, I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage. These are huckleberry potatoes. I think these are uh, red potatoes and butterball or Yukon gold potatoes. And my dad now is harvesting the purple potatoes. My parents are both retired and I am super blessed that they take some of their extra time they now have on their hands in order to help me in my garden. It's so fun. I love digging potatoes and my dad does too. So it was just really fun that we got to spend some time together digging treasure out of the ground. Root crops are one of the most satisfying things to harvest because you never fully know what you're gonna get. Last year, it was a little bit of a fail, but this year, so far, we've got a few more beds to dig. I'm happy with the results and I'll go over you know, the full tally at the end. I did want to share with you, now that my dad is retired, he has started a passion project. He started a YouTube channel himself. It's a daily devotional. And so if you are interested in some encouragement and daily devotions and mental health encouragement, I can link his channel down in the description box if you are interested in that. And I just want to say a huge thank you to my parents right now for taking their extra time to come and spend some time in the garden with me. I don't take that for granted and I really enjoy spending time with them in the garden. And if you're wondering what Josh is up to while we are in the garden digging potatoes, carrots, and onions, he is up at the house working on installing all new outlets and switches. It's a little bit of a boring process to watch so that is why I am not up there filming with him. He's putting in a smart system. So once we get to more exciting house projects again, you definitely will be brought along on that journey. But a lot of what he's doing is coding and programming the smart switches. So it's not super interesting to watch at this point. I think we might be unearthing the largest potato in this garden. <gasps> Check this out. Oh, let me see. <laughs> Check this out. I wanted it to be in the ground. Mom, come and look. You see what God does, how he develops, grows things. Look at this. Oh my, that's a big uh, one. Isn't that cool? That's a huckleberry potato. I do know that that is a huckleberry potato. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's really cool. Here it is. Oh, oh, it, oh it's got a... <laughs> interesting. It's got a butt crack. It's got a butt crack. Oh. <laughs> look at these carrots look at this one some of them are coming out like the little 
store-bought little ones you get. Yeah, but that one's really big. Yeah, see, these are like the ones that you buy already peeled, these little ones. Yeah, They a... smell so good. You would not believe the smell that's coming from digging these carrots. Smell, it smells like, uh, like you just are peeling carrots or something. It's very fresh. So what my mom's doing is she's picking off the tops, which is perfect. You can eat the carrot tops. I'm not going to save them. We're going to give them to the chickens. So, Mom, you're doing perfect. If you want to make just a big pile yeah, right I there. Yeah, a pile going right there. Then we can, we'll just bring those to the carrots. Or the to chickens. the chickens. <laughs> I'm going to get going on harvesting the carrots. And my mom's going to move on to the onions. And she's going to peel the onion tops off as she goes. Chickens won't eat onion tops, and instead of bringing all those onion tops inside, I'm just gonna leave them in the garden bed to compost. Oh, this is easier without a knife because if I had a knife, I'd have to keep setting it down and picking it up. That's true. And this way I can keep both hands moving at the same time. I'm not gonna lose the knife in the bed somewhere because I pile something on top of it. My brown sun shirt is in the trailer. Oh. That probably would have been a good one to wear today. Yeah, that would have been my better option. Oh, these do pull up really easily. Yeah. I don't think you have enough boxes, Becky. Is that one getting full? Yeah, it's almost full. And I have only gone two feet. Well, you got the record carrot, Mom. <laughs> yeah. That was... The only carrots I planted this year, so right well, there, that one little spot. Well, I have a second planting there. I might grab different boxes for you because we have all three of the same potatoes planted in the raised bed, too. Oh, so there's more than just the... Oh, yeah, there's a lot more. And mom, let me get you another box. <laughs> yeah. This one's full, look at that. Oh wow, look at that. There is so much more grass and weed pressure here where these red onions are so tiny and they didn't choke out the weeds as they grew versus over here where the onions got decent size, way, 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 way less weed pressure. So I'm taking the pitchfork and getting up underneath it and lifting up so I can try to remove this weed pressure and then we'll try to put some mulch down so that we can prevent the grass from growing back. Since my mom is doing a great job on this bed and my dad is doing a fantastic job on the potatoes, I'm gonna go over here and we have another area where we have onions that are... Did you just throw that? Okay. <laughs> my dad's throwing rotten potatoes to the chickens. And I thought something fell out of the sky. So let me show you the disaster that is this bed. I've showed this before, but I want to take back control of this bed today. And we have some massive, probably the largest onions I've grown this year are in this bed along the outside edge here. So I need to get these weeds and onions out of here. This is calendula flower and it has completely done its thing. I have enough seeds, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this calendula flower. That way I can actually see part of the bed and we can see what we're working with. Okay, now my Rebecca here can kind of breathe a little bit. And we're gonna get going on cleaning this bed up. I don't know what kind of grass this is, but it is super, super difficult to get up. It creates these runners and reroots itself. Oh wow, these onions over here buried in this grass are really big. Yeah, my Walla Wallas definitely did the best out of any onions I grew. Now that we've unburied, or we've now that we've dug out these onions, kind of see the size of them. Really happy with that. These are bigger. These are the biggest onions I've ever grown, actually. Which is kind of crazy because there are more weeds this year than I've ever had gardening. My dad just said he's getting a bunch of fingerling potatoes, which are volunteers from last year because I did not plant any fingerling potatoes 
this year. Awesome. Oh, look, we have a little heart here. <laughs> That's cute. That's really cute. Little double potato. Got four different kinds going so far. Mom, you're almost done with this bed. Yeah. Looks great. We didn't plant any fingerlings either, and we got one, and it was this long. One fingerling potato. Yeah. That's awesome. This is where I'm at, and it's looking a whole lot better. You can actually see the soil again. I'm waiting, and I'm going to get all these onions at one time. But my dad is almost done with this whole row. Okay, what well we got out of this 30 foot run, I just pasted it off, it's about 30 feet. We're just getting the last of the... Oh. Did the mouse go again? Yeah, Let's see if I can... You see that? Yuck. That was, oh, that's a... Is that a vole? Yeah, that's a little tiny hole, I think. Ugh. Someone else can tell us all. <laughs> Yuck! <laughs> <laughs> I found that earlier. It startled me, too. He probably so disrupted is, his uh, habitat. Yeah, so this... Oh, got that. That's a seed so, potato, I think. Uh, so, out of this 30-foot run, I just pasted it off. It's about 30 feet. This is what we got, so we could show you that. Yeah, show out you. of 30 feet of determinate... Potatoes, all the potatoes were just about three or four or five inches under the ground. And this, uh... That's because, Dad, I didn't ever till this area. Okay. I just... Built it up? Built it up. Yep. yep. I set nice the potatoes on the ground and then I put yeah. straw, yeah. manure, and grass clippings. Well, I was able to go through and just do it with my hands, so it was very easy. All right, so this is what we got. Four different kinds. Which this one probably will go toward the chickens because it got a hole in it, but wow, look at that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's one part. It's beautiful. Yeah, I like the colors. So Thank now, you. do we want to empty these bags? There we go. Oh wow, they're, oh, they're just... They're falling out. And these are gonna be pretty dry. Wow. Oh wow. This is gonna be treasure hunting. Okay, let's just pick up. Make sure we don't lose any. Let's see. Make sure we got it. Okay. I think you got them all. All right. Here we go. Let's just take it nice and slow, and we'll just we'll just figure oh, out. Oh wow! What look at all that. There. Yeah. Now these were not on irrigation, and so yeah, they're not going to be quite as. They might maybe. not be as big, yeah. But still, that's a nice bag to put those in. We can put them right back yeah. in the bag. Oh, Very just... easy to harvest. Yeah, that was. We're easy. harvesting the easiest ones first. We probably should have started with the harder ones, the ones in the raised bed. Oh, oh, so there's those too. Okay, so we have all these and those. Pretty good. Yep. Pretty Not decent. Not too bad for. I put three seed potatoes in this one bag in each one of the bags. That's kind of heavy. In between. Oh, we could try it a different way. You can do it this way. Yeah, you're standing in the shot. Yeah. Well, we could uh, dig we it could, out this what way. What we could do is dig it out this way and uh, try it a different way. See which one we like better. So you can see here this kind of like mushy, yucky bit. That's the potato that we planted in March, and you can see that the actual plant is growing from that. And we can just throw that there. We'll let the whole thing compost in place. Oh yeah, this works well to do it this way, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was fine. We could cut it together a little bit. Oh, look at that pile of weeds. <laughs> so many weeds. Oh, dropped an onion. It's okay. Okay, down one side, round the corner. Farther out than the end, that's why I did that. I don't like where the moles have dug up and covered the uh, bed with more dirt. Very 
themselves in the... And look at what Papa did. Oh, we dug up some baby carrots. Look. Won't those be oh. yummy? Oh, some of those are big. Yeah. Yeah, Grandma got Papa, the big ones. Papa did this whole big line. 30 feet. Show us the potatoes. Are they in you this bag? Hey, boys. Oh, my. Look at those <laughs> potatoes. There's red ones. There's white ones. <laughs> There's purple ones. Oh, Dad, that looks really nice. Thank you. There's fingerlings. There's yellow ones. Can you believe it? <laughs> wow. Wow. I thought I would take a couple minutes and clean up some of the weeds. It's so surprising to me how much mass weeds can take up. This one wheelbarrow full is just from that one onion bed. And what is a pain in the rear to me is a fun blessing to the chickens. They can enjoy pecking at it, scratching at it, and digging through it. We are, I'm just starting to work on the design of the garden in the new house, and I definitely am gonna put chickens right next to the garden because my annoyance is their gain. The girls now have even more weeds to enjoy and pick through and play with. Let me show you what my mom did. It looks so fantastic. Look at all that progress she was able to make in here. I'm gonna let these onions just compost in place. They really only take a couple weeks to decompose and that will just give back some nutrients to the soil and help prevent some of this grass from coming back. But it looks so much better. And here are the onions. I would not say that this is going to win any sort of prize at the fair or anything. This is the biggest red onion we got, but they will eat and I grew them from seed. So that's a pretty big accomplishment. These ones are a little bit bigger. The ones that are in the other box down there are bigger. I've got some weeds to take care of here, but overall we are making some fantastic progress. My dad is taking a little bit of a break and he's FaceTiming my niece and nephew, or my two nephews. And when he comes back, the next area we're gonna start harvesting are the potatoes in this raised bed. I planted the exact same variety of potatoes in the raised bed as I did in that roost stout style bed because I wanted to do a comparison between that bed and this bed. And it's about the same quantity of potatoes I planted. So we're gonna see which method produced more potatoes. The roost out method for sure is gonna win ease of harvest because they're not deep down in the ground. These potatoes in here are a good 12 inches under the soil. So that's gonna be a little bit more work to get them out of the ground. And then we have some volunteer potatoes in here that he might get as well, just depending on timing of everything. So let me get my mom a shovel. The grass is wicked. It's horrible, it's horrible. It's really discouraging. Advil for my hands, for sure. Cramping. Not now, but they will take. I know. Right? I know. <laughs> Don't take the Advil. I know. Yesterday, if you were here in the garden with me, I text Josh after. Well, no, it was like later that evening, and I said, I think we need to get a hot tub at some point because all the it's really all the bending and squatting when you're gardening is what I think really gets you. It's a great workout. Gardening is more than just growing food. It's about mental health, moving your body, vitamin D. You wouldn't know that from today because it's overcast today, but that's okay. So before actually my dad harvests the potatoes in the raised bed, he's going to hill up this area just so we get all of the kind of biomass back in this line so that that can be an in-ground bed if someone wants because there is irrigation here, which is pretty cool. And we'll just make it look a little bit neater. And I'm gonna go help my mom. I have a feeling because this plant was so, Covered. what's the word, choked? choked. Yes. That the pollinators weren't able to get to the flowers because there's no actual fruit growing on this plant. So we might not get a squash from it. I have squash growing in other areas, but I'm kind of... It runs runners along and then replants itself I know, it's, everywhere. It's horrible. I don't it's, know what it is. Look, there's a bee going in there. There's a bee in there. That's why I think that the weeds were bad because it choked out those flowers. Look, this one broke off. 
Those are highly edible. Yeah, the nasturtiums. We officially reclaimed this bed. Look how much better it looks. It looks so fantastic. You could not see the bed at all 15 minutes one. ago. And now my mom has it started. It all looked like that. Yep, it all looked like, like this. Let me show you. Look at what she unearthed. A beautiful, beautiful blue hubbard, I think, or sweet meat. We're gonna let that grow right there. You can see the ground. Oh, awesome, Mom. See, these flowers, when there's too many weeds, the pollinators can't find them. See, there's one in there. So that's, that's the goal, is to unearth this. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these onions in a bag, and then I'm gonna come help. The bag's right over there. With this bed. So we had one volunteer um, potato here, and but... I, Yep, that's the one I dug up yesterday. Check this <laughs> out. World oh record. Oh my goodness, look at the size of that thing. It's bigger than my hand. That's, that's oh, where... Oh, look at this for just... I got this. Oh, this one might be yeah, rotten. Might, you got, oh, oh my... Oh, 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 an animal got to it. Yep, yeah, something got in there. I'll be very careful around this pepper. Well, I don't think that pepper's going to produce very much. That's where I got that one volunteer yesterday. Boy, the soil is nice. So That's what do we good. do, chickens? Yeah, we can just give that to chickens. Chickens? Yep. We and it, there's, look at this. This will make that'll be almost a, a meal of uh, french fries right there. Dad, you can see these. all these potatoes in this pepper bed yep. are all volunteer. Okay, so we'll just take them out one by one and not disrupt the other one. Yeah. Check this out. Incredible. We're just going to go through these beds one by one. They're, they're planted with other stuff, so we'll be very careful to harvest but leave the plants that are still growing. So we'll pull these and then we'll just have fun. Oh my word. <laughs> oh. And that was a volunteer potato. I did not plant that potato. Boy, this, where it was, you could see where the watering makes a, look at that. Wow. That's all free, free because I didn't. Let's see. This is this it? No. No, that's Rebecca. Yeah. Oh, but there's a potato, right? Two of them. That's big okay. ones, right next. Oh my word! Wow. <laughs> oh wow. Those oh, that one's rotten. Those really did. Uh, look at that. Oh. These are. I mean, these are good check, size potatoes. Check that out. <gasps> oh my gosh! I think these are russets. That is a huge, that's not a crack, that's just a, wow. Some of these potatoes turned a little green, so. That's it. Oh my gosh, Dad, look at this potato. Look at it. Let me see. Wow, so that's a sweet potato, isn't it? No. That's another volunteer potato. Wow. You yeah. know, I think I made the right choice letting the potatoes go instead of, I didn't know if I should let the potatoes continue to grow or if I should pull up the volunteers for the peppers, but I think I'll probably get more food volume from a potato plant. Oh, huge in here where there's moist. This is what I just dug up from two volunteer potato plants. A couple of these potatoes have some green on it, so we can't eat the green, but the majority of them don't. That's one nice thing about growing dark-skinned potatoes is you're less likely to have that green. There's a toxin in the green that makes it so it can give you a very, very bad stomach ache. You don't want to eat it. But we've just been harvesting around these little pepper plants. And you can tell that the potatoes definitely stunted these, some of these pepper plants, but we're still, I mean, there's five jalapenos on that one little plant. We got all the volunteer potatoes out of this bed. Look how beautiful it feels like this bed can breathe. My dad is starting on digging out the potatoes from 
the raised bed. My mom is cleaning out the black bean bed. <laughs> this has been a roller coaster of emotions, I tell ya. These beans have been mowed down by deer probably four or five times. I don't think anything's gonna amount to it, but we're at least gonna get this. Seeds? Oh yeah, those are well, the black beans. Something's definitely here. eating the foliage. It looks all lacy. Yep. But the beans, there are some. Wow, some that's growing. a miracle. So what I'm doing is I'm going around and picking up all these piles of weeds. Those are potato tops. I got this area cleaned out and look at this squash bed. I mean, it can breathe. I just feel like, oh, it's such a relief because it can breathe. Our zucchini plants might actually be able to produce some zucchini. They have some flowers on them. That was my second planting because my zucchini in this bed, which look how good that looks. My mom got it all under control. We have our yellow squash right here, and that's hopefully gonna produce us a bunch more because there's a bunch more female flowers on there. Oh, a couple of them broke, that's okay. And then our one zucchini plant can breathe back there. This yellow squash is doing really well. This is another yellow squash, and then we have our blue hubbard. And wow, what a transformation. It is incredible when you have the help. It feels exponential how much stuff we can get done. There's no way I would have been able to get all this done by myself today. I mean, that's half full. Yeah. That's heavy. I mean, that's 40 pounds of potatoes right there, probably. Oh, oh there's a ton of dates deep down in here. Wow, they, we might have missed some. Oh, I'm sure. That's why you get volunteers, but I feel like they almost do the best. There's some squash or something. In wow, that is one beautiful basket. <laughs> That purple and the pink. Oh wow, I can already see pink coming out. We are two thirds the way done with this bed. And we have this bag three fourths of the way full. We're not gonna fill it anymore because we won't be able to lift it. And then this bed, I mean, look at the progress my mom made. <laughs> I've done this a couple times in here where I've weeded it and then the deer comes and mows back down these black beans. But she was able to uncover some black beans. So even if I get enough to save seed for next year, I'll be happy with that. Because I wasn't expecting even one. And then in here we have some volunteer purple celery, or pink celery. Because I had pink celery in here last year, I never harvested it, it went to seed. So it planted itself. This is Chinese pink celery, which is kind of a fun thing. As of now, we have officially reclaimed all of these raised beds from the weeds and it feels absolutely fantastic. What I'm doing is going around and picking up all the weed piles. That's what my mom is doing while my dad finishes digging out the last of the potato bed. Direct hit. <laughs> right there. Yeah. There still might be more here. I don't know. Anything there. Oh, yeah. Let me just kind of work my way down through the middle. This there, Sam. So there's one right there on the other side of the fence. Oh, there's a big one right there, yeah. All right, let's just keep going. rock. Generally, I'm everything. Here is the final total. These are the onions from the one raised bed, a 16 foot by four foot bed. Happy with it. Next year we're gonna try to beat that because I think we can do better. Here are some volunteer fingerlings in the roost out bed. These are the purple huckleberry from roost out. And then we have roost out, roost out. And when we get to the house, we're gonna weigh this and we'll know how much we got from the roost out bed. One thing that's really interesting 
is this potato is already starting to grow eyes. So it was already wanting to grow a well, Oh, so green. is this one. It's green. It looks this one's green. It looks like it was above the ground. It is, but it looks like it was going to yeah. grow like a like a fall harvest of potatoes. Yeah. Um, and so we'll weigh those. This big bag and this basket were from the raised bed, the 16 by 4 foot raised bed. Mm. Our little carrot harvest. And these are the Walla Walla onions that were in the squash bed. So really, really productive, really, really productive. Not only did we get this absolutely amazing harvest, we also cleaned up the garden, which is I think just as much of a win. And I really appreciate that mom. It's gorgeous, it's <laughs> gorgeous, it really looks good. It's a good way to go into like this really big harvest part of the summer because I was getting a little discouraged about how it was looking. So it just feels good. I mean, we've only just started harvesting peppers tomatoes. and tomatoes. So we have a lot left. So I'm really excited that now that I'm gonna be spending a lot more time in the garden, we're gonna have a clean area to work in. So I really appreciate that. So we're gonna load all this up, I think in my dad's truck, so it doesn't go in my car. And then- Don't forget you got the water running. Yeah, I did forget that last- <laughs> I saw that on yeah. your video the other day. Yeah, I had to have my sister-in-law come and turn it off. So it's all loaded up, it looks so good. And now the garden is clean, the harvest has been done. We are gonna go get some lunch, we're gonna go get Josh. Well, first we're gonna bring that up to the house, then we're gonna go get lunch. And I wanna show you, if you watched, if you were here yesterday in the garden, how much weed we put in here, there was zero green in this chicken run. And now there is probably a solid, I don't know, almost three feet worth of weeds and vegetable scraps. And those girls are going to enjoy that. 